Hello guys, we are doing a series about the different units in Supremacy 1914 and I do one specific video of each and today we're going to talk about this guy, the artillery. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Uh, first, the bad things about it, the speed is 25 which is slower than than normal infantry so if it travels in a stack with a with the artillery in it, you're going to move slower than normal. And otherwise, the uh, view range is the same. Hit points is 20, which is the same as a uh, infantry in 100%. The damage this one does is 8. And this is a ranged weapon. It's an offensive weapon. You can shoot from a distance. That's the good thing about it. The, the attack is 8, which is more than infantry. Slightly more, or oh, it's like the strength of two infantry, something like that. And defense is 2.7, which is not good, which means you should never get your artillery in direct combat uh, with your enemy. Uh, same from air, it's very poorly defense against air and naval, so you shouldn't get it out in the sea to get attacked. <clears throat> so it's a very vulnerable weapon, and it can be killed pretty easy. But if you are uh, an active player, the artillery has many advantages. You can shoot from a distance and then you can move it. If your enemy doesn't have any ranged weapons, you can just use it over and over again. Uh, many times, and especially against AI countries, because if you shoot at a normal infantry, they will start chasing you. So then you can control the AI where they should go. You can shoot from one way and pull out infantry from a city, perhaps, and then you can attack from the other side with your infantry, stuff like that. It's, it's very good to use. Uh, but make sure that when you use it, move it out, Have it, always have an escape route for your artilleries. And if they are stacked, many of them at the time, they can start doing some serious damage, actually. And they're also pretty pretty cheap to build, pretty cheap and pretty fast. Let's just check in the province here. I don't have any, any factory here, but we can look anyway. So the, apart from the armor car and cavalry, you can build already from workshops. You need, you need a factory level one for the artillery. <laughs> if you have factory level one at 80%, it's going to be four days of building times. If you have a, a factory like level four and 100%, it's only 20, 21 hours to build an artillery. So you can really pump it out. 3,000 iron, 10,000 of gold, uh, not gold, but money to build it, which is cheaper than a tank. It's half price. Uh, it's a very fast, cheap unit to build and really effective. But you have to be an active player to use the artillery. If you're just in once in a while uh, attacking and then you're not going to log in for a few hours, then you shouldn't use artillery. Then you need tanks instead. But if you're an active player, go for the artilleries. They are well worth it. I promise you. As long as you keep them safe, escape with them when possible, you can really annoy your enemies with it. So I build a lot of artilleries. I built them way more before because they were stronger then. Now they changed the settings a little bit, so they reduce the damage from them, but they are still effective. Should be in your weapon mix for sure. That's it about the artillery. Check out the other videos about other units. Bye bye.